Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Tropico 6 on the PS4 Pro. So a couple things before we get started here, guys. Uh, first of all, I forgot to mention this last episode, uh, but if you're looking to purchase the game, you'll find links down in the description of the video. So I put a link to the PlayStation Store's entry because uh, the game is out today. So if you're looking to buy it uh, for PS4, then you can use that link. We don't get no money for that or anything like that. Just a link to the regular PlayStation Store. However, we do have a Green Man Gaming link to the PC version. Unfortunately, I don't have one for the console. So if you're looking to buy the PC version because you're just seeing this now and you happen to be a PC player, maybe coming from those Hearts of Iron 4 series, then using that link will get us its uh, affiliate link. So it does get us a, a little percentage of the money that you spend when you buy the game. Uh, so it is $50 on PC. Uh, while on console, it's $60, $59.99. Oh. It's always more expensive on console. Yeah. Just the way it is. So I wanted to mention that. And then the other thing I want to mention is is my pronunciation of the name of the game, uh, which I think the last Tropico. episode, I was saying Tropico. Uh, and one person had mentioned about, you know, that I should have said it, the English version, which was uh, Tropico. Uh, of course, which this guy, yeah, which is, yeah, considering the, the theme of the game here. Uh, of course, now this guy's a troll who's been on our videos before. He always leaves nasty, rude, just trolly comments. He's not really worth mentioning. Yeah, so I don't really care about that. But I, just in case anybody else brings it up, since it is kind of weird, uh, the reason why I was pronouncing is once again that I making the E sound. However, I kind of messed up because I didn't pronounce it fully in Spanish. I said tropico and it should have been tropico, you know, with the O making the O sound. So we're gonna say that from now on. We should at least have it be either fully in Spanish or fully in Man, English. I'm going hybrid. We're gonna hybrid it. Yeah. Half the word in English, <laughs> half the word in Spanish. Yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to put Don't those two notes out there. And let's get started, guys. So we already have the gold mines building over here. And so let's go ahead and get the uh, coconut harvesters, which are gonna build them over here because this is where we found uh, Penultimo. And this is he's the one who gave us the vision. He wants us to get coconut coconut harvesters. He wants them for his breast. This is for his yep for his breast. Uh, Jinx actually has coconuts on her boobs this time, so no uh, cantaloupes. Yeah, she went, went to the store just to get coconuts because she was Are embarrassed. Are you giving me shit? Yeah, no, mom. Fucking, I was gonna say pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> Put pineapples on your boobs. That would be uncomfortable. Yeah, I think so. All right, so yeah, this is green, so I guess this is where I'll place it. Can you place it in a non-green place? Huh, interesting. I wonder why it doesn't, like, have the efficiency. Maybe because there's no road. Mmm, no. Requires more coconut trees. I guess it does matter. Maybe it's, oh, maybe they cut down the trees. I know if you get the loggers, they actually cut down the trees. You know what, I think they, maybe they cut down the trees or something. It's just kind of different from the no other. fucking trees. I guess yeah. we'll find out, huh? Let me just build it. All right, so let's get one going. We're actually gonna do two, even though we only need one. Coconuts. Yeah, because we want a lot of coconuts, guys. All right, uh, so we need roads to them, but we'll wait till they get that they got uh, that gets built over there. And I think we're ready to go. So let's let it play, and wonder people do their thing. So the thing about the library that I didn't mention last episode, in which we should have really got this before they gave the mission here, is that the library is how you get text. So it's pretty useful to have. Should have got that pretty early, I think. And then uh, the other thing is our leader. We can actually see our leader at any time. Oh, who's up on the roof, man? Is that him? Oh, no, no, it's a guard. a guard. Okay. So it okay. says he works in the palace. And yeah, we got He's a guard well here. Off. Now we obviously pay our guards quite well. As you should. Mm -hmm. He lives in the bunkhouse, though. He can't get uh. one of these country oh maybe he'll move to one of these country houses once we get those uh so yeah i wanted to show you guys the ruler so you can select el presidente at any time he's on his way to the chapel right now so we can go ahead and follow him oh, we're and you going can to pray you can follow him around you can tell him to visit buildings which oh, uh costs money what? but it inspires the local workforce oh well i mean i guess you have to have like your detail go before you mm -hmm. although right now we're just walking around True. with nobody Although, look at this nun following yeah. us. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I think she's an assassin. I don't trust her, man. I don't either. Oh, maybe we do have a guard with us. Oh. Or is that just coincidence? Oh, maybe maybe he is we're visiting us. the guard. Oh, I think we're visiting. He said where he was going. He's going to the dock. I thought he was going to the chapel. He can't make up his mind. He can't figure it out. Yeah, they should. Well, maybe he just, uh. He's just walking around. 
looking at shit. Maybe he was coming from the chapel, and then he went to the dock. I don't know. All right, so yeah, that's kind of a cool little element, and you can tell him where to go. We'll speed this up, guys. I like that. And of course, we can always customize them there as well and change his look up if we wanted to. Uh, so our approval rating was down to 50% when we first loaded up the game. It's back up to 98, so I don't know what the hell happened with They're that. They're so happy. They're confused, guys. Coconuts. Oh, we got a library. Together, Governor Ju, I, and the people will turn everything around. All right, so we built the library. I wasn't going to get the revolutionary immigrants because I was thinking that would be a bad thing, but if we were trying to become, you know, if we're trying to do a revolution oh, and become yeah. independent, then it would probably be a good idea. We're trying to overthrow the monarchy. So yeah, you know what? We're going to go ahead and do this. And this is a lot of immigrants too, so I think that'll be helpful. They're going think... to cause so much trouble for the crown. That's the hope. Because yeah, I think we actually, we have no unemployed citizens, so essentially we've got jobs out there that probably aren't being done because we don't have... We don't have the citizens to do them. We need more people. We need more people, Jinx. Oh, I bet this is probably done over here. Oh, no, it's not. Can there's they build it if there's no road? I think so. I think they can walk out to there. But remember, they have to go all the way over there from the, the landing. So far. Yeah, because they don't have a construction thing over here. So it's going to take them a while to get those so coconut. So can we not build roads until we get the construction thing? You can build roads anytime. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't. We could build the roads if we wanted to. I don't think it would, I don't know if it would speed it up or anything, though. And can we even see where the roads are needed? I guess we can build them. Jinx is really concerned about the roads. Roads. So we'll get the roads here. And we'll just get this one connecting to it. It's all weird. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. Can I build a road? No, it's going to look like that. Like we want a fat road right there. Mm-hmm. All right, so I guess we go. Oh, yes, we need the pirate cove. I forgot about that. Oh, Pirates. Yeah. Arr, Arr, matey. We both did that shit at the same time. Jinx. Why wouldn't you? I'm sure you they a, did it at home, you too. You a Coke. All right, so let's... have Coke many. No, we don't drink soda pop any damn way. Though we did drink a soda pop the other day. It's the first time I've had a soda <sighs> in, well, good. The God, like six, eight, nine months? I don't know. A long so time, good. guys. I had a Big Red. Because yeah, Big Red is the bomb. Here's Pirate Coke, guys. Although I kind of wish that I had just gotten a regular cream soda. Because Big Red is not as the bomb as I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want to put the pirate cove? I feel like it should be like further away oh, from... Shit. We could always put it with the coconuts. What do you think, Jinx? Yeah, that seems like a piratey island. Yeah, it does with the SOS on the there. Pirate yeah. party island. We'll move it over here, woo, I guess. Woo. This would be the pirate place. Although it needs to be on a beach. Okay. We'll place it right there. Right there. That's where our pirates will be. Our matey. And they do have to travel off the map, so having them further away, oh, I think, would actually they? make them quicker. Are they going to go rob people? Yeah. Sweet. Yep. You give them missions and they do stuff. We'll get to take a look at that, hopefully, this episode. I guess we'll see if we can get there or not. Other things that we can build along that same line uh, track here uh, in the military buildings. I saw a few things. I mean, you can get a fort, which they'll he handle any military conflicts. And guard towers, which essentially play the role of the watchtower later on. Uh, so they uh, identify the, the hidden roles of passerbys. So oh. we have to unlock the blueprint. We're going to do that. And let's put a guard tower. I like to put it right here. I don't know if that's the way to do it. And again, we don't know how to play this game. So That's how I would do. Yeah, so they identify as everybody all coming of off quirks. the dock. Yeah. yeah, that's the way I look at it. So let's put it right, right here. And we might want to get another one somewhere close to we could put it right there yeah that'd be a good spot or right there though that might be something yeah that's somebody's country house there oh that's a cute little house yeah these are nice i mean kind of they're not bad James. i mean at least you don't have neighbors all up your ass so we now have seven unemployed citizens we still have a lot of homeless too i think we have houses they just don't want to move to them i'm they're guessing expensive. i'm guessing they live too uh they work too far away oh true that would be my my guess here. Yeah, we got some shacks out here. So we just need to take a look at where the shacks are. So yeah, you can see that we have shacks here. So there's not enough houses here. Well, somebody needs to go clean that shit up. So what we need to do... I move along, bums. <laughs> Jinx don't like like the bums in I there. don't. Can we get one there? Ah, uh, there's only one spot. Well, that's where we put care. our watchtower. Like, how is it socially unacceptable to not like bums? <laughs> Openly. It's... Because anyway, nobody likes bums. It's not Christian, Jinx. Yeah, well. <laughs> We're not Christians, I guess. <laughs> That's why we feel that way. Uh, we are not religious folks. 
All right, so. God, they take advantage of Christian folks. I don't know how many times, like, kids our age mm-hmm. will be griping at their parents. Like, stop giving money to the fucking bums. Like, you're going broke. <laughs> Not the people have a request. But for safety reasons, it is a secret request. Okay, so they want another fucking tavern? <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it on that other island. We got pirates over there. They're going to want a tavern anyway. Well, you know taverns are where revolutionary revolutions are born. Mm-hmm. Everybody oh, we also gets need... drunk and comes up with some crazy ideas. Oh, and look then... at all these homeless people. Oh. All right, yeah, so yeah, we like should... no homes. Yeah, we don't have anything over here. Poor people. They have gold miners, they man. They work in the mines, and then they have to go home to their little shack. Yeah, I feel bad. Let's fix this shit. Let's get them some bunkhouses here. And we'll just place, um, I guess, like, right by the mines or whatever. Do they have a tavern? Because they need it more than anyone. Than anybody, right? Yeah, I was going to put it for the coconut harvesters, but they just could eat coconuts all the time. Besides, they probably have diarrhea. They don't need to be drinking. <laughs> if they ask for another one, though, we'll, we'll build one. So let's get... Why does it not want to... Apparently it, it's the too... road is weird. Yeah, the road is on. Fucking squares. Such an awkward shape. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll put another one like in the back here. These guys are gonna be like right behind it. <laughs> oh They're all gonna have emphysema. Mm-hmm. They're gonna have all kinds of problems. What I wanted to take a look though before we build that is let's see if we could have stuck another gold mine on there before I actually do that. Oh, just in that tiny little spot. All right, let's stick it right here Can't then. Can't sit here, seat's taken. All right, so yeah, there'll be a little bunk, bunker right there. And your bunk house, excuse me. I said bunker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they have bunkers? They do, yeah, they do have bunkers. Damn, we cannot. All right, we're gonna have to do it this way. I don't like the way the, the roads sometimes work in this game. Because it's such a square. Yeah, like. Matt. Can I just, hmm, building is in the way. Okay, well, maybe we should just wait till it finishes we'll building. We'll move the Fuck god it. dang building. Yeah, we'll just let it finish. It's a road, it can go around things. All right, so that'll fix that. Oh yes, the tavern. You wanted a tavern for these peeps. Yeah, because they need one. I agree. Or a circus. <laughs> Let's get them a tavern, guys. We'll place it wherever we can, although it doesn't like the ground. The and ground it says the spot weird. is already taken. Oh lord. This will place it right here? Yeah, right there. <laughs> yeah. It'll be whatever. right out someone's backyard. Mm hmm. I wish. No. No, <laughs> you don't want a tavern right outside your backyard, Jinx. No. I don't think you like that. Remember those townhomes that we lived in with those military people who lived across the little creek? And they were always drunk and always pissing in the little creek. Oh, I do remember. Yes, I didn't know what you were talking about at first, but now I do. Now that the piss. Yeah, you know? yep, I remember. Yeah. Those poor frogs. <laughs> oh my god, I don't feel <laughs> sorry for the frogs at all, though. Holy shit, guys. They, they were, were so loud. <laughs> it was ridiculous. The people were fucking, the frogs were fucking, everyone was pissing. It was just terrible. <laughs> Let's increase the, the cattle. I don't think we're producing enough sugar and cattle. So let's go ahead and pay those people more. So hopefully this will result in, in them uh, getting more done, having higher efficiency. I don't know. Is that how that works? I don't actually know. I think it increases the efficiency. Let's take, yeah, it increases the efficiency, Why so it makes them better. A whipping selection. <laughs> <laughs> a whipping selection? A whipping. Oh, they're not slave jinx. They're workers. I know you can't. You can't whip your workers. <laughs> no, <laughs> can't whip your workers, jinx. So we completed some of our our trade routes here. Excellent. So yeah, I guess it just notices us that we've got it done. I'm like, good job, you. Excellent. So I think we, we get some relations some for that, and we can always start a new one if we wanted to. Oh, we'll just wait until they until they ask for one. We're not trying to give the crown anymore. Oh, wait a minute. The crown wants it. has a trade <laughs> route demand. Okay, then I guess we will. Well, that was quick. They're so needy. All right, so I think we have coal. We have pineapples. I can give them some pineapples, or we can give them more sugar. We'll give them sugar. Don't we need sugar for our rum? 
we do need sugar for our run, but we just stepped up sugar production, so let's do that in both of these, actually. We don't want these sugar workers getting paid more than these sugar workers. Oh, God, They'd no. be all jealous and shit. They would, and they'd start warring against each other and mm -hmm. sabotaging each other's crops. Uh, what is this? Monoculture or multiculture? Decreases the efficiency by 40%. The plantation does not increase the fertility over time. Plantation gets 10% efficiency for other plantations in the vicinity with different crop running on the same work road. Oh. Okay. What the fuck that mean? <laughs> so if it's in the same vicinity, then you get increased efficiency uh -huh. for every plantation. So you already get hit by 40% though. So you would need four plantations within this blue circle just to make up the up to what you lost. Oh shit, okay. So if you had like five or just five plantations, you're getting better efficiency basically. So, so and plus you don't decrease the fertility. Gold. The crown isn't angry, governor. The crown is merely disappointed. Huh. All right, so I guess we didn't tell them about the gold. I don't know if we had the option about that, but we were going to tell them motherfuckers Hell anyway. No. That shit is our gold. Shh. What gold? Yeah, what gold? Uh, so they want a fisherman's wharf and a teamster's office. All right, we have to build both of those? Didn't we already do that shit? Yeah, they want more. All right, let's accept the job, I guess. They're so fucking bossy. Though this one we don't actually have to accept. It is an optional quest, but $6,000 is some good money and we have dropped in revenue quite a bit. Uh, so I think it'd probably be a good idea. And the elections, oh no. Oh, and I forgot about the Pirate's Cove. Oh, Pirate. Well, there's no election strings. Not yet. So, with the Pirate Cove, I think you have to go... They've got a real big telescope. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. Uh, but yeah, you go to the Rage screen, which you can also access that through your little radio menu. And this is the... Well, this is the overview. So this is how much raid progress we get. Uh, and then we have... The little missions we can send them on. Oh shit! So we can. This is the one they want us to do: smuggle out gold. So that's one we'll do. You can also loot, which just basically means they're robbing people for these of particular goodies. goodies. Yeah. So like coal logs and pineapple. I don't know how they pick which ones they all put together, but uh, yeah. I don't know how. I mean, coal <laughs> and logs. I get that, but pineapples. <laughs> I guess they got them out the trees where they made the logs or something. I don't know. Uh, so. Yeah, this is where you do the heist oh, as well. Oh, where you get like the world wonders. Yeah, you can steal the wonders. Um, you can do the treasure hunt. That's a way of just getting some cash. And this is how you bring people. So you can rescue oh, okay. them, which you're not actually, you get, they're kidnapping. What are you talking about? Our islands are great. But yeah, they're kidnapping them to let them live on a fantastic island, of course. Which is rescuing. So on this one, it's, it's anybody. You're not really specific on what you want. Here you're saying we want specifically educated people, but you won't get very many. And this is like you want a lot of people. Uh, so We're all jobs that you can do. Rounding people up. Yeah, just round people up. I don't care who they are. So let's do the gold smuggle since that's part of the mission. I don't know how long it's going to take them to do. This game. Uh, we is need a road. So fucking in depth, man. There's, there's a so lot. So much to it. There's a lot to the game. Quite a bit to the game. James. Roads. Oh no. Yeah, I'm having trouble with this. We're just going to have to do it this way, and nice. then. Oh. Good job, Road. I'm trying to get it to connect to right there, but whatever. <laughs> so we don't have that skinny road, man. I don't like the skinny roads. What you got against skinny roads? I don't know. I don't I'm like digging it. Looks They're odd. Weird. Yeah, it looks odd. Fucking pencil road. Mm-hmm. So we need somewhere for the pirates to live. Let's do, give them. Do a, they not live on their ship? Apparently not. I think they are like. What kind of pirates are these? Yeah, I think they need a place to live too. I guess they're they're not the pirates of old. And then we could go ahead. We'll wait till we get a mission for a tavern. All right. So they want the fisherman's wharf. I guess we can do that. Oh, we still have to build the tavern, huh? I think we have one building over here. It's just taking a long time to get it done. Yeah, it is. We got mm -hmm. too much building. We've got a lot going right now, guys. And not enough builders. Yep. All right, so what we want to do is probably get another construction office, right? I think we have one over here already. Yeah, we've got one there. I don't know. I guess we got two. That's probably enough. You if always... you increase their budget, do they build faster? Maybe. I guess we can take a look uh, what that does. I haven't really looked at this at all. Uh, yeah, maybe. Looks like it's... Yeah, they're a little bit more efficient. 
Okay. Uh, there's also ignoring safety regulations. Ooh, let's do that. They have a 10% risk of death on a construction site, though. Doesn't cost us anything. <laughs> well, it costs us a dude, a person, which we're trying to increase our population, Jinx. I think it'd be better to just uh, pay them more money. You pay guess. more. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx doesn't like that idea. Uh, we'll pay these guys more money. Uh, yeah. I'll leave it as is. So what's this installed deckhands one that we have? I didn't even see that. Hmm. Where did it go? I uh, have at least one team support with upgraded deckhands. Oh. Okay. Um, we could do that. Let's do it over here since we're having having some trouble here. And we want all the gold getting here as quickly as possible. Uh, no, that's loose speed limit. I think it's an upgrade. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, shit. So $1,200 okay. add six positions. Yeah, we'll do that. So make sure our gold gets here quickly. I have successfully milked my former coconut friends for all they're worth. And there is so much more I can do for you. All right. Said, why with my aid I see you becoming everything you deserve and more. How much more I cannot say. But see the wink in my eye? It is proof. You have big ideals and I will help you and I will help you come to pass. I see the wink in his eye. I do. See that eyebrow? Yeah. That's a hell of a eyebrow. Mm-hmm. Why are you wasting your time here? All I see is coconuts, and I hate coconuts. Vile, furry, sloshing things. The Lord Roger isn't happy that we have gotten coconuts. That makes me want more coconuts. Yeah, just to piss him off. Oh, hmm. He wants watermelons. Oh, is it frozen? That's what it seems like. Oh no. We, we broke the game because of the coconuts, guys. We made fun of Roger. Oh. Ooh. And I just accepted a mission. <laughs> Did you? I thought you just... No, I accepted a mission. I accepted the lobbing cap mission. Oh. All right. It's an optional one, but he wants he wants logs. We could cheese. abandon it. Yeah, we can do it. Like, it's fuck fun. your logs, Lord Roger. We could use more logs. So let's go in and get a logging camp. And where would be a good location? I guess we'll build it here. I feel like we haven't really been building there here enough. There's so many trees. There's a lot of trees. <laughs> um, our our presidente does not want to listen to the loggers no. behind him though, so Hell we won't no. put it there. Uh, could put it across here, but can they get across there? I don't actually know. Do you need a bridge? Maybe they built one. Yeah, they might build a bridge with a road. I know you can actually build a bridge across the islands with a road. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. You can build a road all the way across the islands, but I don't know if we can do that in this period. That seems like, uh, risky. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. What if there be storms? All right, see, so we'll just put it over there, guys. Because I want to see if we can get a ro uh, road across. I'm curious. All right, so we'll just put it like right here. They could just use some pebbles. Okay, yeah, we'll try and get them a road once they finish building it. Might not be able to build over there, actually. There's like a little waterfall. Yeah, they cannot reach this site, Aww. so the river does divide it. Maybe you have to build oh. a road first. Or maybe that would make it has sense. to be like next to that little ford. Yeah, perhaps. That would make sense. Damn, that's far, though. I don't know. Let's take a look and see if we can build a road across. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a look, guys. Let's test this shit. Because science. Because it does build the road. Okay. Yeah, you can build a road there. You just gotta have it in the right spot. Just there right. we go. Nice, cool little looking road. And then we'll just connect this here. That is a very nice road. Mm-hmm, I like it. There, now they can get over there. And nobody has to listen to the loud uh, tree logging. All right, so let's go ahead and get the, them some houses over here too. And I thought this was plain. Right, it's just plain slow. So we got a bunk house over here. It's actually a nice For our place. Jacks. Yeah, this is actually not too shabby of a place to be living, I think. I would not want to fucking be a lumberjack in the rainforest. It'd be rough. Yeah. Rough living, it guys. Would. All right, or so it what could is? Be fantastic. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> what is the problem here? What are these people bitching about? Uh oh, the tavern seems like it doesn't have workers. What? Yeah, I think they're short on workers right now. Uh, maybe. Oh, these are the oh. people visiting. Okay, I got yeah, it. Yeah, but they are short on workers. Yeah, they are. We can always hire foreign workers for money. Let's take a look at the library. Oh, I should have done this already. We Shh, do need some it. exotic workers. So, we should get something building for the research screen, guys. I just am falling behind here. I should be doing this kind of stuff. 
So let's find the research screen. Uh, and I wish we had like a notification up there that pops up and says, hey, you should be researching something. All right, so we can get advanced boat services. Increases the upkeep of team ports, tourist ports, and docks by 50%. Uh, but they're faster. The ships are all faster. We can become a penal colony. Increases the immigration by 50%. The chance of each immigrant becoming a uh, criminal is increased by 300%. <laughs> and we receive monthly money for that. Uh, child allowances means that uh, we basically pay money for they every get child. get $3 a month. Yeah. <laughs> per child. So we're not going to do that. Uh, visit to religious buildings. Pay so this is a church fee. Okay. And that makes sense. That would be useful. Employees of mine and industrial buildings work double shifts as long as this edict is active. Cost three hundred fifty per month though. It's pretty expensive. Free housing. Let's do the advanced boat services. I know the upkeep goes up, but man, we make them a little have quicker. a lot of islands, and so yeah, making those ships go faster I think would be useful. And we need gold. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we need our gold, guys. All right, so yeah, just trying to get everything constructed around here. We got the logging camp. We don't have the fisherman's wharf yet. I guess we can take care of that. I always forget that you can get in here easier with triangle. Let's get some some fish. Do you have to be educated to be a fisherman? Okay, so I see how this works. Oh shit! Okay. All right, so you want them kind of close to the to the fishing spots, and this seems about as close as it gets. And I want to say there's something else really good out here, too. So you know Sharks. what? Sharks. Let's put the fishing wharf there. And we're going to build a road through here. There is, like, some goodies here. But I don't remember what it was. So let's take a look at the overlay. No, no, no. Let's take a look at the buildings. I'm going to figure out what we got here. I think it's a plantation that we can do. Corn. Bananas. There's something that was green here. Oh, tobacco. Tobacco. And coffee. coffee. There's a lot of green stuff here. So in some pretty good sand? shit. And then let me and see I if there guess. was... That's what it says, Jinx. <laughs> I'm just going off what it says. And there might have been something for the mines. Let me just double check. No, there's nothing. So yeah, which one of those uh, plantations do you want? Well, either the coffee or the coffee. <laughs> so the coffee, basically. Basically. All right, so let's go and get some the roads going out to there. We're going to build it, like, right down this path here. I should have actually... You know what? Let's do this again. And we're going to build it out, like, right next to the, the plantation. The roads just want to zig and zag, man. Yeah, there's some ziggity-zaggity roads, crazy man. roads. Like I placed them or something. And... Just trying to get... I kind of <laughs> want it to, like, go... Very, like, straight. Can because otherwise it messes the roads, roads up. Please. Oh mm. yeah, there's that little, yeah, do the little loop T next to the rocks there. The loop T? Well, I mean, it did it once. It'll oh, like that? It'll happen again, yeah. And then go like this? Yeah. We'll build up right here and then go to it, maybe. It's so weird <laughs> and noodly. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't want to go where I want it to. Me and a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. That's fine. All right, and then we're gonna get up that plantation going out here. Needle. And we will get coffee. Oops, that's not oh, where I wanted geez. it. <laughs> Cancel. Cancel it. I think they should oh, get rid of that. No. Hopefully. I guess we'll find yeah, out. Yeah, I think they're tearing it up. All right, so let's go ahead and get what I wanted. I, I didn't mean to place it there, guys. We want coffee. All right, so looking for Where high efficiency. Where are we going to put all of our resorts? This is though. not very efficient. No, it's not. 41% there, but... Hmm. I was expecting it to have better efficiency there because it's, like, really green. I mean, it is really green, it's but it's a not, 52%. like, a dark green. True. Maybe I'm just not placing it right. I saw 52%, but, yeah, we might not be able to get coffee. What about tobacco? How's that look? About as just as yeah. good. Yeah. All right, that's just a little bit disappointing. I thought that was going to be better. Well, we need coffee, guys, so we're going to build it any fucking way. I want some coffee. Mm-hmm. I could drink. Here's 59%. So bad. Oh, we'll do right there. About as good as it's going to get. Uh-huh. And then we'll go ahead and get... And it should be playing. We're going broke. Yeah, I'm spending a ton of money, guys, right now. But as I said... Build, build, build. You got to make... You got to spend money to make money, so... 
So yeah, we'll get some bunk houses over here. All right. Viva la revolucion! We built the tavern. She says the same thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. Everything around. Let's get the the money this time since we're going broke. All right, so we probably should stop building Still for a little while. Working on houses for our coconut people and our pirates. Mm -hmm. All right, so oh, these guys don't have a road. I oh, forgot shit. I hadn't done that yet. So let's get them a road. They can walk. Because I was having trouble with the road. That's right. I remember now. What I do they out. need a road for? It's all dirt. So we need them to like go. Oh lord. They need lighter dirt to hmm. tell them where to go. Yeah, I don't know how to like get this to go the way I want it to go. Doesn't work, can't. guys. It's too loopy. Hmm. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it lets me get right there, but then it like won't build. It won't connect. Mm. -mm. It's just kind of like a weird location. Is there a train editor? I don't think so. I could be wrong. Here? Are they actually considered connected? Do you just have to have the road there and then it's connected? I think that's probably good. It looks like it's they're fine. They good. have a road. Yeah, it's good enough. I suppose it's not like <laughs> we have cars and shit any damn way. All right, so we're making money. Uh, things are going well in our town here. Got a couple minutes left of the episode, so we're gonna try and get as much done as we can. Our mandate is starting to run out. So that's a problem. We're gonna get booted from office. We should probably take a look. Like, how are our trade routes doing? Like, are we using both of our trade routes right now? Yeah, we have the rum and the sugar. How far until we get these done? Oh, we are barely even close to getting that rum one. Yeah. That's the one I started in the beginning. You said the sky's the <laughs> limit for the rum. And we're not even selling sugar. Oh. Why are we not? Are we using it all? Huh? Yeah. Um, to make rum? Perhaps. Yeah, I think we're using it all to make rum. I don't think we're producing enough sugar. I think we need we to need have another sugar, sugar plantation. Yep. All right, well, I guess we can buy another license so we can get one completed here. It just sucks I have to keep doing this because of incompetence. <laughs> Not on my part, of course. Are we making logs yet? I don't know what we actually have right now. Does this show you how much you have? Uh, no. No, I don't think it does. Yeah, I don't see. Well, let's make sure we're doing something we have access of. Uh, so let's take a look at, I guess, the almanac. You'd think it'd be in here, right? Like in a, I don't actually know where you see the resources. Here we go, resource overview. Uh, although I think this is telling us how much we're producing. Or how much we're making. Corn, $2,000 per 1,000 units. Hmm. All right, well we have a lot of gold. We could give them gold, but we've already decided no gold for them. We have leather. Um, oh yeah, this doesn't seem right. No, it just seems like the price. Yeah, that's the price. I'm trying to figure out how much we're, we're making. making. Yeah. There's got to be a way to do that. But I don't know how. All right, so that's unfortunate. Because, yeah, I have no idea. You would think that'd be in the trade screen. Uh, like, that yeah, would be... Yeah, you might be able to just... Um... Oh, here we go. Oh, Maybe this sure. is it? Okay. No, that's not it either. Yeah, you might be able to just click on the plantation. Well, that'll tell you how much that plantation is making. True. I'm trying to find out like how much we have in excess. Oh, I and see. It's not telling me that. Uh, I would think it'd be in here. Maybe there's uh, something to sort by? No. All right, yeah, I have no idea where where it would tell you, but whatever, I guess we'll just pick something that we think we have a lot of. It. We're just gonna wing it. Uh, so let's find something. They don't have hides that they want from us. Uh, we're not doing bananas. I thought knowledge. we had cocoa going, don't we? I can't remember. I thought we had a cocoa. We should probably take a look at that real quick. Oh, over there somewhere? Yeah, I thought we had cocoa. Yeah, we have oh, cocoa. Okay. We could sell the cocoa then. Sure. Yeah, let's do that. Just like a real cheap one here. Because, yeah, we don't have the coffee going yet. So we're just going to do far, 400 units. You'd think we'd get that one completed. And, yeah, that's the best one to do. Let's give them some chocolate. And you hopefully, know they're gonna want more. we get that shit completed. And we did do it with the crown, right? Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, try and get that done so we can get our mandate extended because, yeah, I think we're about to. Well, if we get the lo logging camp finished, I think that'll extend the mandate. 
Yeah, we're really gonna have to prioritize mandate extensions. Were they the ones who wanted? Oh, yep. they were. It's right here. Uh, lumbering onward. Burn it. Hmm? Everyone so, likes a bonfire. So Burn they want a they want a lumber mill now, and then they want us to export them planks. Uh, planks, planks. So we'll accept this. Did we not get an extension of our mandate from that? That's some bullshit. No, they're just like, oh, good job. Now we want plank. All right. Well, fuck so you. So that people can walk them. And how do you get that? What do they need? A lumber mill. Oh, okay. Lumber mill. All right. I was thinking we already had that. And yeah, we got the logging camp. That's right. All right, well, let's build this uh, right next to it, I guess, and see. Let me oh, see if I can get a road. Spot. Let me see if I can get a road out there first before I go building all crazy. Sure, I suppose Since it's kind of... Flip it. Yeah, it's really hard to tell where you're going to be able to build a road. I'll do right there, and then we'll see if it lets me build one right there. Get the uh, lumber mill right next to it. There we go. Ta -da. Beautiful. Almost looks we'll planned some or something. Punks. All right, so how much time we got left of the episode, Jinx? Is that it? No time. All right, so that's a bummer, Boy, guys. Governor. Oh, wait a minute. Did he asked. finish his job? He's pirate so penalty mode. I mean, undocumented trade. Okay, then. So, it's just him with an eye patch and a, and a goatee. What are you talking about just him? <laughs> He's got an eye patch, a bandana, some... He's got the whole pirate getup. I'm just saying Nasty that hair. I'm surprised that he that he did that. He looks completely different. It looks like he doesn't bathe now. All right, so we now have the mission to deliver gold to the pirate cove. All right, I think we can. He does look accomplish a lot cooler that. as a pirate. Though. I think he looks better as a pirate too, and he still got that same eyebrow going. Mm. You notice he didn't cover that eyeball up Hell when no. he had to He's choose like, one. This eyebrow stays. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So we're down to ten thousand dollars. Oh, jeez. We're extremely broke. I don't even I've just been building like crazy. Just shopping. Yeah, so we need to stop building. <laughs> and then fast forward. Yeah. Make some money. Yeah, make some money. Um, I don't know if these guys still have an objective that they can do or if we finish it. We're still doing the gold smuggling right now. We have to load the gold up over there, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's what they need us to do. I think that's why we have that deliver 100 gold here. So how do we do that? Do they just do it themselves? Maybe. Yeah, I don't really know how that works. If they just automatically deliver the gold, I guess we'll find out. Uh, we got a lot of gold mines, though. You'd think with all the gold we'd have that we'd be, like, earning pretty good money right now, but apparently not, or I'm just spending that much, because that's how bad it is, guys. I wonder if we're also losing money from completing that uh, research that we did. Oh, we're not even done with it. <laughs> it's just me spending, essentially. Yeah. I've gone uh, buck wild with the money. I'm just... You sure have. I got about the strip club, just <laughs> El Presidente rain. is just making it rain. Mm-hmm. Not too many. So if you guys enjoyed this second episode, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. We do hope to see you on that next episode. And thanks for watching, guys.